9 a.m. we hang out and do behind the scenes art business stuff. I'm your host, Christy Durham, an artist who specializes in custom uh, building and vehicle art. So like homes, cars, trucks, um, workplaces, things like that. Uh, you know why? Because most of, your, most of your best memories and stories or in most meaningful memories live inside homes, vehicles, workplaces, and vacation spots. So turn your life story into a piece of art or give it as a gift to that person who's impossible to buy for. So today we are um, refilling our alcohol markers. So I get this question a lot about um, how to refill and re-wet alcohol markers. So it's probably going to be a shorter one today, um, but I really wanted to have something down so that people can see actually how to do it. So we'll be refilling Copics and cheap Amazon alcohol markers that don't have ink refills. So Copics have ink refills that you can buy with the color, like with the pigment in them. These do not, um, but there is a way to make them juicy again. So uh, we're gonna test out some things. I'm gonna show you the different ways to do it. And then, yeah, so that's what we'll do. So today I did, uh, before the call, I did um, some swatches to see which ones I needed to refill. Uh, these are, a lot of these are ones that I use a lot, so they tend to dry out pretty quickly. Um, and although some of them look kind of juicy still, uh, they are not. <laughs> they are not saturating as well as I'd like. So, um, and then I bought this one a while ago and I keep refilling it and it keep, it's so dried out. Like I bought it brand new and it's so dry. I don't know why I can't get it to, to, so, um, to, wetting up again to so we're gonna we're gonna try some things okay so uh first things first i want to show you how to refill a uh, copic alcohol marker so first thing you're gonna need is a tweezer um you can use your fingers but you probably will end up with a marker all over your fingers so i would recommend a tweezer um, and then you're gonna need ink so i'll refill one of the easy ones first this is the N0, it's a neutral gray. Um, I love the neutral grays from Copic. Um, I actually just ordered a bunch of gray Ohuhus that'll be coming. So this is the ink refill. This mine's getting kind of empty. When they come brand new, hang on, I'll show you one that's brand new. This is how they come with a little, like, whatever you call this thing, plastic with a, a notch so you can rip the thing off. They come pretty secure and they come pretty full. Um, but these are like about $10 a bottle and these markers, if you buy them individually, are about 10 bucks a piece. So it can get pricey. So anyways, we're gonna fill this today and you wanna always double check the number to make sure you're filling with the right color. So, uh, so I always take the nib out of the chisel tip side. Um, so there are two ways you can do this. I, I sometimes do it both ways, but we'll talk about that in a second. So you take the nib out. Um, you might want to have a plate or something to put it on. Sorry, my lighting's not great today. Um, it's really gloomy outside and I tried to get some lighting going on. But um, yeah, so I'm sure you just probably want the information. So <laughs> we're gonna drop it in. So I, um, some people measure you can measure, uh, there's a way to do that. Uh, and I'd have to Google it cause I don't remember. But there is a, like you can weigh it to measure. Mine's pretty dry, so I'm not gonna worry about using the, the tweezers. But if it was a little bit wet, you might wanna, instead of picking it up with your fingers, you might wanna do that. Um, and then, so if I am in a hurry, I will wet the tip too. Or if the tip is particularly dry, this one's getting a little bit dry. Um, I might wet the tip too, just to give it, and then you can see it, uh, where's the thing here? You can see it soak in. It's kind of satisfying. <laughs> yeah, so if I'm like in the middle of a project and I'm, um, you know, I need a lot more, then I might do that. And then what you'll do, oops, that's the wrong one. So put the cap back on that first so you don't spill it everywhere because it's pricey. And then put the cap back on. And in order to get this side to wet itself as well, you're gonna wanna lay it on its side, um, preferably overnight. So I would leave it for 24 hours. 
um, at least a couple of hours. If I'm in a super hurry, I might try to use it right away. That's why I, I wet the nib. Um, but yeah, that's so leave it like that for a while. So now I'm gonna show you, rather than wetting all of these um, and making you wait to find out the other way, uh, let's talk about um, the cheap ones. So this one is really dry. Um, this side isn't so bad, but this side is getting like pretty dry. So I'm gonna throw some, I'm actually gonna take the nib out of this side, which I've never done before. I usually do this side, which is pri why, probably why it's so wet. Um, but before I get this question, I want you to know that the way I'm going to do this will likely dilute the ink. But these don't have refill ink, so this is the only way to re-wet them unless you buy a new marker that I know of. Unless you buy ink, like you could buy ink from Copic or you could buy ink from Ohuhu, um, I think, and you can re-wet it. I have not tried that, so caution. Um, use it with a marker that you have not used or that you don't care about that much to test it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this. Uh, this is 70% alcohol, and to answer some questions, no, I would not use, I get, a, I get a lot of questions about this, so let's just go over them. Don't use water. These are not water-based alcohol markers. If you wanna test it because you don't wanna go buy alcohol, or buy alcohol, go to the store, um, or sorry, go use one of the markers that you do not care about and test it because you will likely ruin your marker. But if you really wanna know what happens, use a marker with the color that you don't like and put some water in it. I use alcohol. No, I have never used hand sanitizer. I don't know if that works. I've heard people use it and it works, but. I guess it would depend on how much alcohol and how much gel is in it. Um, what else? Other people have asked me um, about nail polish remover. I would not use nail polish remover. Um, I only, only use alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> and be careful, caution, if you're a child or um, if your child asks for an adult's help. Um, my, my channel is not meant for children, so... Uh, but just be careful because alcohol is flammable and it is toxic. Um, you know, it says right on there, danger, poison, flammable, blah, blah, blah. So just be careful. So this is how you do it if um, you have alcohol markers uh, that don't have ink refills. And I usually have a plate. I have a plate over to my left here that I put the wet stuff on. Um, but for the sake of the video... So you can use a couple different things. You can use like an eyedropper or you can use like, um, I had some of these things left over from when I did, or when my, I had dogs and they were taking medication. So I just use this. I dip it in the alcohol and I, let's see if you can see. And I just pull up the plunger to get alcohol in there. Ooh, didn't get that much. It's probably getting low because I've done this a lot. So something that's important is that you're gonna want to get the, the air out of it. I've made the, this mistake before, um, not getting the air out, and then it just makes it harder to pour. Just do it very slowly so you don't end up with like a geyser. There we go. Okay, so that's it's ready to go. So I'm gonna put the lid back on and put this away. And be careful because you can get alcohol over, all over your hands and it will dry out. Just make sure you wash your hands really good after so you don't end up like, you know, lighting a candle and like making it flammable or whatever. Okay, so we're going to go similar technique. As I mentioned, I usually do this side, the broad tip. It's almost always the way I do, do it. But because this one, it doesn't seem to be soaking into the other side, I'm going to try doing it on this side and see how it goes. So I'm just taking the nib out, putting it aside. You might want to put it on a, a wet or a surface that's okay getting wet. And then just be very careful. You're just going to want to drop that in there. Little drops. And there's no set number of drops. Um, depends on how dry it is. Mine is super dry and I've been wetting it and wetting it and wetting it. So I'm going to just throw a bunch in there. But if you're worried, oh, see how it's, it's, it's all the way full now. That happens sometimes. Sometimes it's just a bubble, but sometimes it's actually full. So 
um, it is gonna probably be messy. <laughs> this one's nice because it's got a little lid. But just anything, you can use anything, an eyedropper's fine. And then I'm gonna take this. This is probably gonna get messy because it's a little bit full. And something I wanted to show you too. Okay, so now I'll, I'll show you what I was gonna say in a second, but so now I'll put it on its side, lid on side, and it'll soak in overnight, and then I'll see in the morning. But something I wanted to show you is, so with the ink, um, with the regular ink that we use for alcohol markers, uh, you can put it on the nib, but I wanna show you what happens when you put it on um, like just alcohol. See how it dilutes? See how it dilutes the ink? I'll show you again on this side. So just be careful. Just be careful when you're doing that because, you know, you can dilute the ink. And then let's see what happens on the paper. See how it diluted it? Yeah, see, that's why you test these things on markers you don't really care about. So I've probably messed that up. <laughs> I don't use this marker that often anymore. I just, I'm doing it to show you. I am gonna put some more in the other side to see if I can get the ink to, to pop out. To come out the other end. There we go. So then that'll lay on its side. I just put them aside and let them lay there for 24 hours. And then I keep this in a secure location. You wanna make sure it's not near anything flammable. Anywhere you'd keep your alcohol, um, you're gonna to wanna to do that. So now let's test this one because it's so, so dry. I've played with this one like a thousand times and for some reason it will not re-wet itself. So, Look how much ink I've, I've used trying to get this marker to be re-wet. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna throw some alcohol in it because it's kind of a lost cause at this point. See if I can flood it. Maybe that'll work. I'm just gonna put a ton of alcohol in there. See, it's not even full yet. They're like, there's so much. It's so dry. There's like nothing in there. Ooh. All right, I just flooded it with alcohol. Well, so I'm gonna leave that overnight and see what happens. And a lot of this, like look how much alcohol I just put in there. So we'll see how much actually takes. Yeah, and then I just have my other alcohol markers that I need to re-wet. Um, these ones aren't so bad. So for instance, this blue one I use almost every day, um, but I don't use it a ton. It's not that bad, so I'm just, I'm just putting in a little bit, just like as a topper. So same thing. And if you're using, if you're doing this with different colors, you're gonna wanna be careful because sometimes you can get the nibs uh, the nibs can get dirty. See how that just left a little bit of green? See if you can see that. It just left a little bit of green on the nib. Um, so just be careful. I don't recommend doing it the way, like you should probably clean it in between. I'm just lazy, so. <laughs> Make sure you can see that. So I'm just topping it up, adding a couple little Sorry, my hands are so dry. I've been, the weather's changed and I've been putting hand cream on, but it doesn't seem to be working, so. So I just put a couple drops in there. I'm gonna put the nib back in and then I'll lay it on its side. Um, probably for a couple of hours because I've got some commission sketches to do later today. Um, and then I just do the same thing with all my markers. So I've got, this one is one I use a lot. This is one of my go-to browns. It's E43, um, dull ivory. So again, see how the nib's getting a little bit dry? So I might wet the nib on that one. 
And I recommend getting a separate set of tweezers for this. So I just put a couple drops in there and then I'll wet the nib just a, just a smidge, just to keep it nice and wet. Yeah, so that one will lay on its side. And then we've got our N2. Got so many of these. There it is. See that this nib I've used a lot, so it's getting a little bit frayed. I might need to replace the nib soon, which I haven't done before, so that'll be a fun test. So again, you wanna check, double check that you have the right color. Oops. I swear that went, oh, okay, yeah. Sometimes it can get sticky and messy if you, if you drop a, you get a drop somewhere else. So I use this one a lot, so I'm gonna throw quite a bit in there. And then I'll, I'll uh, actually I'll wet the nib too. I don't like seeing it fray a little bit like that. That's probably cause I've abused it. So I just like to wet it, kind of like giving it a little, a little hair treatment. <laughs> Yeah, so then that'll stay on its side until I use it again. I usually like to do this after I'm done doing a sketch and then uh, I can just leave it overnight. Okay. Um, and then I've got them four. I had them all out before the thing the live, but the, they all fell over. I was all prepared and then they all fell over. So this one's one I use like a lot, a lot. Um, this is one of my go-to neutral grays. I use this one constantly for everything. So it's one of my favorite colors. It's funny, my husband and I, he does, he paints miniatures and we were talking about our love of grays the other day because they're such a good tool for artists for adding shadows. So then I'm gonna wet the nib on this one too, just same reason I did on the last one. Um, just a little drop to try and keep the nib in better shape. You don't have to do that, but I don't know. It just, it seems like it makes the nib uh, keep longer when I do that. Okay, and then I just have this one left to do. This is one I use, if you've ever seen my sketches, um, I do windows in a very specific way. I do blue and then I do like a red on top. This is the color I use for the, for the red. It's called Lipstick Natural E04. And that's a Copic. And I buy all of my Copic markers from, well, I, I guess I shouldn't say I buy all of them. I've bought some at Michael's, but they're behind like a cabinet. And they're kind of like, I don't know, I had a bad experience there because I spent forever picking out markers and then um, they ended up like not selling me a bunch because I said I wanted to put like two back and they thought I meant like a bunch of them. <laughs> so I had to go back and drive 40 minutes. Anyway. And they like stand there and basically watch you shop. Like you can't look at them by yourself, which is a pain when you're trying to figure out what colors you want. So, but they do have that 40% off coupon. So I've got, I bought them at Michael's before. Um, I find that because Michael's doesn't, it seems like they don't sell a ton of them. Um, the markers tend to be more dry. So I don't really recommend buying from Michael's. Um, I've also bought from a local store called Beatnik, which is great. Uh, it's just kind of far away from my house. So that one is, um, you can go, you can order and they will order it in for you and let you know when it's there. So they, when they send out, you know, an order to ship in supplies, they will have it sent to the store and it's a small business. So I like to support them, but they're just far away. So it's kind of a, a pain. 
but they have um, brought them to events for me before in my local town where I just go and like pick them up at whatever event. So they are really accommodating that way. Um, I asked at the Leamington Art Center about it, but they said they order them in um, kind of like as a rec as like a suggestion for the store. They won't order them in specifically for you. I think it's because it's a nonprofit, so it's like they're relying more on like volunteers and stuff. Um, so they, they probably don't have the manpower to like keep on top of all of those things. Um, and then, so the, the place that I like to order from the most is called Club Copacana. I think they're in BC or out, um, east, or out west Canada, western Canada. Um, but you can order, the prices are decent. They're usually a little bit cheaper than what I can get in a store. Um, they have sales sometimes and the shipping is quite fast. And they're always nice and fresh when you get them. Like they're nice and juicy. Um, I get my ink from there too. The only downside to that is that they don't have, uh, they don't have all the colors. So like I have N6 here, my neutral gray six, which I had to get, actually that's a good point. I had to get from Michael's has artist loft alcohol markers. Um, so I had to buy, I had to buy uh, a new marker for that instead of buying the, they didn't have the N6. Thought about buying the N4 and the N8 and mixing them together, but I don't know. It just seems like a pain. So I just bought this one and it's expensive to do it that way. Um, but yeah, then I should probably talk about the, um, these artist loft ones. So I was actually pleasantly surprised. The only thing I don't like about these is that the nib is really big. So when you compare it to that one, it's, it's not so much like wider as it is thicker. Uh, so if you look at, like this is a typical nib. I'll show you the different nib sizes. Look at how, how much bigger it is. So um, that I don't like because it's harder to get precision. But they are pretty decent markers. They don't have ink refills, so you'd have to use the alcohol, like just straight alcohol for these or buy or test, I should say test out ink from another brand, but I don't. Typically, um, I have not done that yet, so I don't, I'm not going to recommend it until I do it. So just be cautious with that method. Yeah, so, so they're decent ones, but I'll show you the Ohuhu as well, since we're on the topic, um, the different nib types. So this is the nib. Let's compare all of the nibs. Uh, and I'll get a... So this is cheap... Cheap Amazon alcohol markers. This is the Artist Loft. This is the, or sorry. Oh, I have two Artist Lofts here. That's my problem. Thought I picked up a Copic. <laughs> oh, dem dem. Okay. So then we have uh, Cheap Amazon. We have Artist Loft. We have Copic. And then we have um, Ohuhu. So you can see all the different nib types. Um, and I'm trying to see where the camera is here so you can see the different like thicknesses of the nibs. So Copic has the nicest nib. It's nice and clean. It's a different, I don't know what the material is, but it's just a really nice, smooth material. The rest are pretty much the same um, like width this way, but then when you turn them, the artist loft is quite a bit thicker. Uh, than the other ones you can't you can't really tell that that much but so if you if I do a test like that's oh hoo hoo that's Copic that's artist loft oh see the tip is actually not the tip is different too so these are more flat so the the tip itself is actually okay tip itself is actually not that bad but it's just clunky like I don't know if you can tell, it's just clunky. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent here. <laughs> oh, and then I'll do the, just to, for argument's sake, I'll do that. So I made that one, I did a double line on that. So let me do just a one line so you can get a feel for it. Oops. <laughs> 
Yeah, so it shows up the same, but it's just a clunkier nib. I just don't like it. Let's just call it, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, so that is how to refill alcohol markers. That's pretty much everything I know about alcohol markers. So if you have any questions, leave them in the chat and I will try to um, respond in my next video. If you have any requests on what you want me to talk about um, in relation to art or alcohol marker or digital marketing for art um, or how to buy my art or literally anything related to art. Um, I do water-based, or I do uh, alcohol markers and watercolor. So if you have any other questions, uh, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, you know, all the things. Um, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Have a good day, everybody. Happy Tuesday.